this is the Provoke Prawn, and here I'm comparing the ROG Harpy Ace Aim Lab Edition with the Logitech G Pro X Superlight. In my mind, this is a logical comparison, because the Harpy Ace Aim Lab Edition is a super lightweight mouse, which is basically designed to compete with the Superlight in a number of ways. And you'll see some similarities as I go through this video, showing you the mice side by side in their different variants and with some interesting highlights. Now I've done in-depth of guides on both these mice that I'll link to in the description. I'll also put all the specs in the description so you can find out more because on paper the Aim Lab edition of the Harpy Ace is the superior of the two. It has a better sensor with a higher DPI going up to 36,000 DPI versus the super lights 25,600. It also has faster acceleration at 50 Gs and 650 IPS versus 440 on the Superlight as well. So on paper, it's the better mouse, faster, more responsive and more interesting perhaps as well. Now they are also, as you can see, both aesthetically pleasing and slightly different. So you'll see already from the early clips that the Harpy Ace has a single RGB zone, which the Super Light doesn't. And that RGB is designed to let you know when you're switching DPI, also changes to let you know when you're running low on battery, which is pretty handy, and other things. Now, in terms of battery life, you're meant to be able to get up 90 hours out of the Harpy Ace and about 70 out of the Super Light. I personally found out to plug in both reasonably regularly but we'll talk a bit more about battery life in a minute because there are some other interesting highlights you will notice from these shots though that the super light still uses micro usb charging whereas the harpy ace has usb c so there are some differences here also another highlight when you put them side by side as you'll notice that the harpy ace has bigger side buttons that stick out a bit more on the underside there's also a switch to turn it into bluetooth mode so you not only have 2.4 gigahertz wireless but also Bluetooth connectivity. So there's another advantage there. It has a slightly more matte body than the Superlight. You will notice that the Superlight has grip tape on it, and there's a reason for that I'll talk about in a minute. But they're both grippable and comfortable. Medium to smallish size, I'd say. The Superlight obviously has a lot of PTFE on the underside, and it is certainly well thought of by many people, including myself. It's a nice Androhan mouse, lightweight, comfortable, and capable and you will see that they're actually surprisingly similar in weight but actually the harpy ace is even lighter which is surprising when you consider that it's got both wireless and bluetooth connectivity and claims for longer battery as well as the rgb lighting so there's a bit more tech going on in there and yet it weighs in at just 54 grams which is pretty impressive the super light was already really lightweight and now this aim lab edition of the rog mouse is even nippier and lighter in theory. Now both have a similar sort of logic with the cabling. Obviously I've already said the Superlight uses micro USB and the Harpy uses USB-C, but you get that cable included in the box as well as a little adapter and there's the same sort of logic here. So you have the 2.4 gigahertz dongle that you can see that is buried away in the mouse itself. Both mice have a storage for that dongle for their own dongles within them so you can bury them in there but then you also have this adapter now this essentially allows you to plug the USB-C cable in to your PC and then the other end of it into this and then you can put the dongle into that and then put it close to you what this means is that you can then unplug the dongle from the cable and plug the cable straight into your mouse when you're running low on charge which is something that the Harpy Ace lets you know when it's happening with the RGB changing to red and flashing on the wheel, which is pretty obvious and handy. The other advantage here is it gives you a little bit of a better signal, because I have found actually if you're too far from your PC that the ROG mouse struggles with signal, but that really does depend on the range. I found out if I was across the other side of the room it was problematic, but otherwise they both have a good fast signal. Now the Superlight is available in various different colours. Here's a few of them here, white, red and black. You can get a pink one, I believe, as well. And so you have more choice in the colors. You'll also notice, though there's no RGB lighting, there is a little tiny LED indicator on top to let you know when it's running low. Here you can see it with the G502 as well. Now, the Superlight is an interesting setup and comfortable in my mind, but also has some other highlights to it. So no Bluetooth, 
connectivity and no button for switching DPI, which is a shame. But on the underside, you do have a little housing that you can pop off and swap out with the extra PTFE one so you can make it even slicker, which gives you extra smooth bottom to rub on your mouse mat. And it really does give you some smooth response from it. Neither mouse has optical switches, which is interesting because the new G502X Plus that you can see on the right hand side here does. Now the highlight to Logitech mice is that it work with Logitech's own power play system, which is this powered mouse mat, which plugs into your PC. And then you have a little cap that swaps out for the PTFE one that you saw a second ago on the underside of the mouse and basically allows for the pass through of power this means that the mouse never needs to be plugged in because it can just be used on this mouse mat and you can just keep going and going and going without any problems in terms of charge. This works across a lot of different Logitech mice as well, so it gives you more flexibility there. The hidden highlights to the Rug Harpy Ace is that AimLab functionality, obviously AimLab edition, and you can see the AimLab UV logo on the side. You need a UV torch to show it. One of the most pointless features of a mouse, but that does hint uh, one of the most interesting things about it. Obviously, this is a pro grade gaming mouse that's aimed at sort of pro gamers and those seeking to improve things. And if you download AimLab, which is free, you can then dive into the settings optimizer. And this essentially allows you to run through various different tests. You can see sensitivity, mouse DPI, angle tuning, and liftoff distance. You go into each of these and run through a program that puts you through your paces with the mouse and these take about 10 minutes each, so they're quite long. But once you've done that, that essentially then gives you the right settings for your personal use. So the way you've been using it and how you've been handling it. And it will then tell you what to do. So in this case, for instance, it's told me that I need to use it at 800 DPI. That's the recommendation, which I found really interesting because I usually use my mouse at around 1200 to 1600, depending on the situation. So I usually use a higher DPI and it's now suggesting a much lower one based on that test. So you can then put those settings into the mouse and then use it and play with it and improve potentially your performance. And this is a really interesting thing. Now, obviously, AimLab is free, so you can download it and test out for any mouse that you're using. But this one's optimized specifically for it. The other thing is that you do have grip tape on this one, so you can change the look and feel of it, and it doesn't add much weight. I didn't feel like it was as necessary with this mouse, though, because of that matte finish. But if you do add it, it really makes a little bit of a different style to it. So there you go, two fantastic mice. Stick around now for a sound test to hear the difference between them.
you've made it right to the end of the video, you brilliant legend you. If you've enjoyed it, click that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, and drop me a comment down below if you've got any questions. If you really enjoyed it, consider joining the channel and see the benefits of doing so. Check out these other videos, you might well find them interesting or useful, and most importantly, have a great life.